Let's spice up the background a little bit. What's happening everybody? So today will be a little bit of a different video. We're gonna talk about how to stay motivated to make videos on YouTube. For me, this is a very important topic because making videos on YouTube isn't easy. It's a grind. I had people asking me, how do you make your videos look so easy? But in fact, there is a lot of work involved. There is no easy way to this. There's so much going on behind the scene that you as a viewer can't really see. To be honest, even though my channel is growing, there are certain days where I question myself if all of this work I'm doing is worth the effort because at the moment, I'm not really making enough money to sustain this channel. I also wondered how other creators stay motivated to make videos on YouTube. What is their motivation to keep going? For that reason, I teamed up with a couple of my filmmaker friends from around the world to do a collaboration on this topic. They all have different sizes going from below 1,000 subscribers up to 20,000 subscribers. Hopefully by listening to their stories, you will find your own encouragement to keep going. With that said, let's start with our first guest. Hola, my name is Tony Ledek Loschen and my tips for staying motivated on making YouTube videos is spend 30 minutes every day working on your channel. I usually live here on the Costa Blanca in Spain, but I recently went to Norway, my home country, to work for several months. And in the beginning in Norway, I would make stupid excuses for not making videos, like when I get back to Spain, then everything will become much easier and then I'll make more videos and blah, blah, blah. But the truth is, with that mindset, I would probably have made up stupid excuses when I came back to Spain as well, because life happens. There's always a reason for not doing something. So I decided to start spending 30 minutes every day working on my channel. I would set a timer for 30 minutes, work on a video, and when the timer was finished, I would stop working on the video and I would cross it off in my calendar. And after 30 days straight of doing this, I had produced and posted four videos on YouTube. But the goal was never to produce one video per week. The goal was always just to do something small every day, no matter the outcome. And this led me to rebuilding the habit of working consistently on my YouTube videos. And I'm so glad that I did. And I actually picked up this tip from a course that I took, a course from Matt Diavella about building new habits. So if you're in the market for building new, better habits in your life, I highly, highly, highly recommend this course. Hey guys, my name is Tanya. I'm a full-time freelance videographer and owner of The Creative Nest. You can find me on YouTube at slash The Creative Nest. So, my number one tip for staying motivated as a creator. Um, so here's the thing. This video that Bennett has organized where creators share tips for staying motivated is something that I should be watching. And it's because I actually really struggle with finding the motivation to create content consistently because I do it every day in my job all the time for other people, my clients. It's kind of that classic case of the maid with a messy house or the cobbler with holes in her shoes. Do they still call them cobblers? I think that's still a thing. But what has been a motivator actually is uh, you. Other creators, viewers, fans, if you will. It's your comments, subscriptions, encouragement. All of those things are so, so valuable to a creator like myself. The fact that someone is actually watching what you put out into the world rather than, you know, so my number one tip is just engage with your viewers, whether that's five or 5,000. Respond to all of the comments. Thank them for watching. Ask them for topics. Ask them if there's things that you could improve on. Subscribe back to their channels. Create a community around the content that you're sharing. When I don't put out a video for a little while, I have viewers that hold me accountable. And because I've actually built a relationship with a lot of these viewers, it's kind of like a friend holding me accountable. For me, it's creating content for an audience that I can actually put faces or usernames to. Especially considering my channel is actually fairly niche. I focus 
pretty exclusively on content with the Fujifilm, specifically the Fuji X-T3. So the fact that they're following me or commenting or paying any attention at all means that we probably have something really important in common. Now, this tip also goes both ways. This means that you should also be engaging with other creators whose content you enjoy watching or that you admire. Subscribe to their channels, comment on their videos, follow them on Instagram, make yourself known to the community that they are creating with the content that they're sharing. Because while it might be hard to believe right now, the internet is more than politics or cat memes or trolls or guys named Bob who live in their mom's basements. I'm sorry, internet bobs of the world. I'm sure you're lovely. Most of you are, are probably lovely. You got a little Dorito dust in um, this whole region. <laughs> That's a wrap for my tip. Thanks for watching. Now go out and make something awesome. Bye. Hi guys, my name's Pav and I'm a videographer slash filmmaker based here in London in the UK. And I've been thinking about the question that Bennett put towards me, which is about how I stay motivated to create videos on YouTube. So I think the biggest motivating factor for me personally to create videos on YouTube is knowing that the possibilities are just absolutely endless. Any idea I have, I know that I can write it down on my phone and eventually create some sort of video out of it. And that's the kind of thing that excites me. And even if I don't make a video of that exact idea, I might work off of that idea and come up with something else. Quite often what I will do for my, my, my normal line of work is to create videos for clients. Um, working on client projects can be quite restrictive. You, they generally have a vision and they want you to try and stick to it. So therefore having this outlet of YouTube to be able to just go out, go travel, go meet up with people and create whatever I want, whether it be a vlog or a travel video or a tutorial or just any kind of cinematic style video and that just pushes the boundaries a little bit, pushes me out of my comfort zone. It's that is kind of things that motivate me the most um, to be creating stuff on YouTube. One other general tip I would say, um, which probably goes against a lot of what other people would say, um, but it's just something that I've thought about quite often when it comes to putting videos out on YouTube is don't feel like you always have to feed the machine of YouTube or the algorithm just because you know that's the way it works to grow. I think that can be quite one of the biggest demotivating things and it can quite often lead to burnout quite quickly because you could find yourself in a situation where you're working on a few days on a video that you feel like you just need to get it done and get it finished and get it pushed out and you're not particularly proud of it and those kind of things can quite quickly demotivate you and you want to generally be just excited about putting stuff out on YouTube because especially when you're starting out you're doing all these kind of things in your own time for free and you're not getting paid you're not getting sponsorships why struggle to put out videos that you're not particularly proud of just because you feel like you have to because you have to be on a schedule take a bit more time and make something that you're really happy with really proud of something that excites you and those kind of things will just motivate you to keep going on further and further Thanks, Bennett. My name is Pat, and I'm a professional photographer and filmmaker. And now, I guess, I am also a YouTube content creator. I review cameras and lenses and photography video-related gear on my channel, and I do a very occasional tutorial. Firstly, I think is chance to be creative. Although I do this for a living, I am a professional photographer and filmmaker. This is a different level of of being creative. This is a personal development this is a personal way to approach creative creative work flow I don't know whatever you want to call this uh, the chance to to get better at photography and and filmmaking editing organizing these and producing them editing them and publishing them on time all of this is drives me to to be better at, at all of it and every time I do one of these videos I strive to do another one better and every time it's kind of constant drive to to be creative with it but also but also when i've started this channel originally i i in my head i had idea that i'm gonna talk about food and the uh, music and photography and cameras all on one channel obviously that's not the right thing to do and uh, but the main reason i went on youtube a year and a half ago was to get better at public speaking, I guess. Uh, I'm terrible, I am absolutely terrible at structuring speeches or, or being a good public speaker. It's not that I'm shy or scared of audience, I just, I'm just terrible of, of talking too much, I guess. So 
I wanted to go on YouTube to, to get better at public speaking. And although that's probably not my goal anymore, every time I do a video, I'm actually better at being me, which is probably the, the biggest and yeah, the biggest motivator I've got for this. It's just the constant drive to improve everything I do and myself. And by doing it weekly, yeah, sometimes it's hard work. I tell you, it's not, it's not easy, but, but the satisfaction, the knowing that I can actually do it to the best of my ability every single time, it's, it's definitely a, a, a drive enough for me personally. How's it going? My name is Jussi. I'm a filmmaker and YouTuber from Helsinki, Finland. Thank you, Bennett, for having me in your video. It's a huge pleasure. So when I think about how to stay motivated to make videos on YouTube, the first thing you should remember is that YouTube is a marathon, not a sprint. Every one of us has a certain amount of required practice hours set on our timer or videos to be made before we can reach our goals. So for me, it took exactly two years to reach 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. But within those two years, there was this nine month period where I barely gained any views or any subscribers and growth on my channel. But then I made this one video that is still today my most successful video of all time and that video gained me 90% of my growth and my subscribers on my channel. And that was a video that I actually least expected to be that successful. My point is that no one really knows how much work you're gonna have to put in up front and how many videos you're gonna have to upload consistently before you can get your breakthrough. And remember, with every video that you upload, you're one step closer to getting from where you are to where you want to get. And after you've uploaded enough videos and built a good foundation for your channel, then after that, every new video you upload has the potential to be your breakthrough video that will go viral and change your life. So give yourself time to figure out this whole YouTube thing and work hard, but most importantly, remember to have fun you got this so i guess it's now time for me to answer the question how do i stay motivated well you already have the answer you're not alone in some ways we all go through the same thing and knowing that you're not alone helps some friends and families might not understand your vision of uh, creating videos on youtube so it's important to surround yourself with a community of like-minded people Pov and I, for example, here and then do Skype calls to talk about our YouTube journey. And it's really great because we can exchange our thoughts, but also help and push each other. Another big motivating factor are you guys, of course. I think I'm speaking for everyone here. Without you, without the community, I probably wouldn't have come so far. So for that, I wanted to thank you for your continued support of the channel, whether that be through watching my videos, posting supportive comments, and sharing it through different platforms. You guys are all fantastic and make these videos really rewarding to produce. Another thing I do keep myself motivated is to deeply think about the question, what I hope to achieve by doing online videos. My biggest wish is to do YouTube full time so that I can build a community of like-minded people and focus on creating videos that you guys value and really love. I want to thank all of my filmmaking friends that joined this collaboration video. It was a lot of fun. Uh, make sure to check out their channel. The link will be in the video description below and make sure to show them some love. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comment section below. I answer every single comment. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new. And if you're looking for more YouTube related videos, here are two videos that I recommend you watch. Thank you so much for watching and see you the next time.